Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Liam from Pushquare, and surprise, Sony have bought Returnal developer Housemark. That's right, Housemark are the latest acquisition by Sony, becoming a fully fledged first party member of PlayStation Studios, just like Insomniac and Naughty Dog. Announced via the PlayStation blog on a random Tuesday afternoon, like everything is these days apparently, PlayStation head honcho Herman Hulst said, quote, Today I'm thrilled to welcome a new member to the PlayStation Studios family. I have been a fan of Housemark since the studio's early days when they introduced Super Stardust HD to PlayStation fans. Housemark's recent release of Returnal proves the studio is one with incredible vision, capable of creating memorable new games that resonate with our community. This addition enhances the creative force of PlayStation Studios, and I cannot wait to see what the future holds for Housemark. Also speaking via the same PlayStation blog post, I'm so sorry, I'm an ignorant Englishman, I'm going to try and pronounce this correctly, Ilari Kutinen, co-founder and managing director at Housemark, said, quote, We are so excited to finally join the PlayStation Studios family. This gives our studio a clear future and a stable opportunity to continue delivering on gameplay-centric approaches while still experimenting with new methods of narrative delivery and pushing the boundaries of this modern art form. Locally here in Helsinki, this also means that we will officially expand the PlayStation family to a growing industry hub and secure the legacy of the oldest game studio in Finland. We can't wait to show everyone what will be in store in the upcoming years, and we hope to usher in more lasting memories and exhilarating titles for the next quarter century and beyond. This acquisition makes a huge amount of sense for Sony. Like Hulst mentioned, Housemark have had strong bonds with PlayStation since the PlayStation 3 era. Super Stardust HD, Dead Nation, Resogun, Returnal, all of these games have a history, a connection with the PlayStation brand, and becoming a first party studio is beneficial for both parties. As for what comes next for the studio, a GQ interview with both Hulst and Kutinen sheds a little bit of light on their plans for the future. Quote, Well, at least initially, I think we're looking into what we've done now and building upon it. Certainly, Returnal is kind of a stepping stone for us. When we're thinking about the future titles, they'll be even bigger and even more ambitious. Sounds to me like we'll be seeing more games like Returnal rather than smaller scale projects like Resogun, which is obviously very exciting. Returnal is a wonderful game and alongside Ratchet and Clank is currently one of the few first party experiences that showcases the potential of the PlayStation 5. It's an understandable acquisition like I've just mentioned and I'm very excited to see what comes next. However, while we're on this subject of acquisitions, when Sony announced that they had bought Housemark earlier today, PlayStation Japan have seemingly revealed that it's not the only studio the company have picked up. Hilariously, the company tweeted out the announcement alongside an image that said Bluepoint instead of Housemark. In fairness to the poor social media manager who probably posted this by accident, the two images are practically identical. The only difference is the addition of Demon Souls in the blades behind the company logo. Also, it says you know, blue point. But look, we all make mistakes. So it seems very likely that Sony have also purchased Blue Point Games, the studio responsible for some of the best remakes and remasters of the last decade. Again, this makes perfect sense as an acquisition. In recent years, Blue Point has had a very close relationship with Sony, developing remakes of both Shadow of the Colossus for the PlayStation 4 and Demon Souls for the PlayStation 5. I think, as well, it makes a lot of sense for Sony to buy a company that specialises in lavish remakes, because while Xbox are over in one corner allowing their players to experience the vast majority of their library on modern hardware, Sony seem traditionally more keen to remake their classic experiences for the new hardware and then allowing us to buy it at full price. It's two very different approaches, but it makes sense. I think this is a tactic they've had for a while in Shadow of the Colossus and Demon's Souls are two very good examples of that approach. But what will Bluepoint work on next now that they are? Presumably, I will just reaffirm this, it hasn't been officially confirmed, also a first party Sony studio. A remake of Metal Gear Solid has been rumoured for some time, but what about a brand new project? An IP of their own? A remake of the original Last of Us? Which is 
maybe already in development, we still don't know. Only time will tell, I guess. We assume Sony are prepping some kind of presentation that will drop at some point in the future. Things have gotten a little bit leaky this week. For instance, Ghost of Tsushima's director's cut has been popping up around the web for the PlayStation 5, alongside some rumours of a standalone expansion called Ghost of Ikishima. So will it be soon? Probably, if things are leaking like this, it would make sense that they've got something in the works that's coming up maybe in a in a few weeks. I have no idea. I, just, I hope so, because I'm quite excited to see what they've got to show off. I don't know if you know this, but I'm, uh, I'm quite fond of PlayStation. <laughs> anyway, just wanted to give you a little bit of a news drop. What do you think about Sony buying up Housemark and indeed potentially buying up Bluepoint Games? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please do consider giving it a like and make sure to subscribe to Push Square for everything PlayStation. Thank you, as always, for watching.